guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl boy you know if you are just joining me for the first time you are most welcome please subscribe and hit that bell of notification that way you're going to be notified whenever i upload new video okay my beautiful people i put on my word the other time that i was going to put out my birthday vlog but i want to say sorry to bust your bubbles for all those that were waiting for the birthday video i'm sorry i've changed my mind i don't want to put up birthday video i said i video my birthday good friday and that whole weekend it was something wonderful something great and i give god the glory for another year added another beautiful wonderful time and wonderful memories to make and in good health i give god the glory and so my beautiful people i want to say thank you to my new subscribers and to my returning viewers i want to say thank you after the birthday i had to take a little break okay so i'm back now and so we are back again let's get back to normal with our videos coming up on sunday and wednesdays so watch out if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it's free to subscribe hit that bell notification that way you're going to be notified whenever i upload new video this channel is all about being informed, inspired, and motivated simply by Boino. My name is Boino, and you are most welcome. Okay, so let's get straight into our topic. Today, I'm going to talk about the ravers in Liberia. Ravers in Liberia. I'm from West Africa, Liberia, and so I always love to talk about my country. I will delve into other countries, but for now, I'm going to bring more topics, informations on my country, Liberia. So, guys, we're going to talk about the ravers of Liberia. There are there are sixteen ravers, but we are going to talk about the six major ravers of Liberia. We're going to talk about their location and why we consider them to be major in Liberia. To be specific, West Africa. If you don't know the country that I'm talking about, Liberia is on the west coast of Africa, and it is surrounded by Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Africa, and also by the south the atlantic ocean so let's get straight into our topic okay so what do we say about rivers river is a body of water some of you guys know river what it is it flow into a high or a low latitude and it have a channel that it passes through and it flow from time to time we have rivers we have creek we have brooks all of these are waters that float in a channel but uh, from them all, we have river, which is the hardest of them. Or river is harder than creek, than lake. River is big, bigger than, than creek, you know, that than even a lake, than even a brook. So we are talking about the hardest water flow from lake, creek, and brooks. We're talking about river today. Don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about sea. Sea is so mighty. We are talking about ravers and we are talking about our major ravers in Liberia. Most of the ravers that we are talking about in Liberia, they are perennial ravers. Okay, what do we call them perennial ravers? These ravers, they only changes depending on the, the season, that is when it's rainy season or when it's dry season, okay, or when there is a drought. And when we talk about perennial ravers, they are ravers that flow continuously year to year. They don't get dry, except when there is a drought. But when they say it's a perennial river, that is, that river is there. It's there year in, year out, it's there. Sometimes the water reduces because of the season, when the season changes. But when there is drought, you wouldn't see a water there, but there's a party, there's a channel that, yes, this, is a river channel or this place is a river okay river is something that is continuously there the perennial river that's the type of river liberia have perennial river okay. perennial river we would say it's a permanent river it's it always flow it always flowing it's high sometimes it's high sometimes it's low that is perennial River. And then we have the intermittent or seasonal rivers. Those rivers, they flow by season. That is when there is rainy season, then you're going to see 
that wave of flowing. You're going to see there will be a water in that channel. I guess some of you guys can see some places that you will see that channel, that water flow channel pattern. But after when the dry season comes, you won't see any water there. But that channel, that pattern will still be there. Those are intermittent. That is seasonal wave. It only comes season by season. But with Liberia, it's not like that. Liberia rivers is not a seasonal river, it's a perennial river. It flows year in, year out. We also have ephemeral or episodic river. This river is only come about when there is a storm. Yes, we all know that when there is a storm, then you storm, when a heavy storm or heavy rain falls, then you will see a place turn into a river. But that I will not call it an actual river because it's only come about when there is a storm. But when there is not a storm, there isn't a river in that place. So we're going to talk about the six major rivers of Liberia. And these six major rivers, they are Kavala River, Sesta River, St. John River, St. Paul River, Lofa River, and Mano River. So we're going to talk about these rivers and their location and why do we, do we call them a major rivers in Liberia. And these rivers that we are talking about, they are... I would say they are international river because they they, they 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 pass through another country. These rivers that are in Liberia, they pass through another country. They are also in another country. That is the bordering country of Liberia. And so that's why we call the international river. Some of these rivers are also a border to, to, to our neighboring country. So we're going to talk about them and the places that it passed through to other to connect to other countries. Our rivers, the rivers that we have in Liberia, they are rain fed. The rain fall on these rivers. The rain build up these rivers because if the rain does not fall, then the river, the water reduces it. And then when the drought comes in, then there isn't a water. But the rain, when when there is rainy season, the rainfall on this river. And we have a rainforest, a tropical rainforest. So all that helps to support the rivers that we have. And it flows straight into the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, we're going to start with the minor river. The minor river is also called the Guiwa or the Guia River. <laughs> For those of you that know that. <laughs> it's rising in the Guinea and the highlands of the Northeast Fujima in Liberia. Okay, so the, the this Mano River, I would say is between, it's like a border between Guinea and Liberia, which is around Virginia. There were the Mano River. And I remember when I went to Virginia, I saw that river. Yes, there is a river there. It's in Virginia. Okay, and you, you cross that river. There's a river and there is a landmark that you can cross to enter into Guinea. Okay, so for those of you that comes from Virginia, you know that there is a Mano River, and that Mano River is right there, and it is an international river because it is within two countries. Okay, it's in it's in uh Guinea, it's also in Liberia, and this river and, and part of this Mano River also flow in Liberia territory. It's not just a border between Guinea and Liberia that is from the Virginia side, but it also has another river flowing within the territory of Liberia. There is a Mano River Bridge and they also have this Mano River Union, okay? I think it's those countries that, 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 that are within the Mano River then, and this Mano River Bridge, that's the bridge that is connecting Sierra Leone to Liberia, which is at Bow Water side. That bridge, when you cross that bridge, then you enter into Sierra Leone. That water that is flowing there is also the Mano River. The same Mano River that is in for Virginia that connects you to Guinea, that, that, that also is part of Guinea, is also part of Sierra Leone also yeah and it makes it easier because of that bridge that they created there which they was put there in 1976 it makes it easy for people to travel to to go to Sierra Leone. then 
we have the Kavala River. The Kavala River is also called the Kavale Yobo or Daibo River. Daigu River. <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing it right. This river is rising up to the Nimba Ridge, and this same river is flowing through the Ivory Coast. This Kavala River, yeah, and it's between the the Ivory Coast border also. So you see, the the Kavala River is like a border to just has the Mano River is like a border to 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 Guinea, and then to Sierra Leone, the the Kavala River is also a border between Liberia and Africa in the high Lingba range. This river also entered the Gulf of Guinea and it also entered in half of this uh, Kavala rivers. Like I said, the river flow all through and all into the territories of Liberia also. It's not just at the bordering point. Then we have the Sesta River. It's also known as No or Nipu River. So let's see where the Sesta River takes us. It rises in the Nimba Ridge and also flows south in the Cote d'Ivoire. From Nima, the Sincesta River, it flows through the same Africos. Like Africos, they call the Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, Africos. And the Sincesta River, it flows southwest, other places in other territories in Liberia, and it empty itself into the Atlantic Ocean. Like I said, we, we are also surrounded with the Atlantic Ocean. We are bounded on the Atlantic Ocean on the south and so most of our rivers they empty itself into the atlantic ocean so this sister river is one of them too that empty itself into the atlantic ocean it's a it, part of it is it muff is in the atlantic ocean but sister is a settlement in the river cells county that is in liberia and it is located in around the Sesta River. Then we have the St. Paul River. The St. Paul River is familiar to most of us because some of us come from somewhere that the St. Paul River, we see it every day, all the time, okay? The St. Paul River also it rises into the northeastern part of Guinea. The St. Paul River and the St. Paul River, the source of it is in the mountain of Masenta and this Masenta is in Guinea. And the same simple river form parts of the border between Guinea and Liberia. It was cited by the earlier Portuguese sailor in the 15th century on St. Paul's Day. So that's why they name it St. Paul's River. Some arms of it is in Bushwa Island. Bushwa Island, that's why um, connected with Broadway, Virginia, all of that side. And this same simple river is the same river that flow through the hydraulic plane where they have the power plane where they where the current the power is is, is supplied from that's the simple river that runs through there where they have the um, power plant yeah for the electricity then we have the St. John River St. John River is rising in Guinea and it has its uh source from the northwest of the Nimba range Okay, the St. John River. The St. John River also form part of the Guinea and Liberia border. The St. St. John River. Like the rivers, the rivers are all around. It connecting in different, different ways to these countries that we are surrounded with. And I can say sometimes there is a land that borders us with, with our neighboring country. And in some other places, there is a river that borders us with these countries. And this St. John River was also discovered by these uh, earlier Portuguese sailors too on St. John Day. So that's why they name it too, St. John River. Like the same way the, the name uh, St. Paul River, that's how they gave uh, St. John River its name too on St. John's Day. And then we come to the last but not the least, the Lofa River. The Lofa River, the headwater, they originated from Guinea. The same Lofa River, and it's the same Lofa River, yeah, it's in Vojima, I would say, yeah, part of it also, yeah, Eastern Guinea, northeast of Masanta. And this river, it draws into the Atlantic Ocean through the north. So, my beautiful people, as you all know, there are more rivers that we have in Liberia. I think our rivers, there are about 16 rivers, but today I only talk about 
the six major waivers that we have in Liberia. So let me know what you think about these waivers or if you have any other idea because some of you might have lived closer to these waivers or some of you have uh, some other knowledge about these waivers. So guys, you are free to leave me your comment in the comment section. So I hope I make sense today by bringing you the major waivers, the six major waivers in my country, Liberia, to be specific, is in West Africa. So guys, this is all I have for you today. I hope you learned something from my channel today. So stay tuned till I see you again. I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.